Senator Kelly. Well, <coughs> Chairman, I want to support my colleague, Senator Dennis Landy, in his call to have the shared ownership scheme operated by the, the local authority scrapped. And the reason being that when it was introduced maybe 15 years ago, the people that availed of it were working and they got mortgages based on the fact that they were in employment. Now, I know many at the moment that are now out of work, they're on social welfare, they are not in a position to repay their mortgage and the rental part of the shared ownership scheme. And as a result, in most cases, the county councils are parking the rental part of the scheme until things change for, for, the ten, for, the, for the owners of these properties. Now, I have estimated, and I've made a submission to the Minister for Housing on this, I have estimated on one case in, in my own area where the mortgage that was acquired 15 years ago was 35,000. When that is repaid in 10 years' time, uh, the, the council will be owed 30,000 by way of rental income that has, was foregone for, for the period of the difficulties that these people were, were enduring. So it's, it's going to be, the, the situation is, uh, Alaska here, look, that they're not going to be in a position to repay that 30,000. They're not going to be in a position to go to any Linden institution on social welfare to get that money. So I think the council should scrap it and just allow these people to live in those homes and, and forego the, the, the amount that they may be due. And just finally on that issue, and we'll be talking about it later on today in the property tax, it begs the question, what, uh, how much do these people owe in a property tax if the council own half the house? Has that been dealt with? And I suppose maybe we'll get clarity there from today on. Thank well, you.